To get complete control of the digital mixer that's in your Stage Pass, you'll need to go out to the Apple App Store or to the Google Play Store and pick up the app for your device, and then you'll be able to control this remotely via Bluetooth. So let's go to our App Store and download the Control app for the Yamaha Stage Pass. We're just going to search Stage Pass. And here's the app. We'll download it. You can open it. And it asks for permission to get to our music. We give it that. And now from the device list, all we've got to do is go and enable control from our Stage Pass 1K, and you'll be able to pick it. Okay. And there it is. And this will ask you to set a passcode. And we're finished. And now it'll sync with the stage pass and we're ready to play. So up here at the top, you'll notice that we have up to eight positions where we can store complete snapshot memories of the mixer of all settings. So it makes it really easy for you to come back to, particularly if you play over and over in the same place. Next, you'll find all the controls that are on top of the Stage Pass 1K. Next to that, you'll see all of the faders. And you'll note all the faders go to zero. They don't go above zero. One thing of note with the app is that it can't turn things up louder than the knobs are already turned up on the mixer. So in other words, if your inputs are set at unity, you may not have enough gain. So it, I would recommend to you that you turn the gain up to near about three quarters. That way you've got plenty of room and your app allows you to back off those levels as you need to. And you also have your monitor output and your master output all on faders from this one view here. Also, the next one, this is one we like for the performers to see. Uh, it allows them to play their music directly from the uh, screen here and also allows all the settings of level to be adjusted as well. And then finally over here is where you, it's the large screen. This is for that performer so that they've got everything they need to go pick the songs by artist or by playlist and then be able to call it right up. So I'll call up my artists and we'll find the artists we want to go to. And his music. And now it's loaded and ready to play. And over here at the settings is where you set the amount of count time you have, so you have some pre-roll in this, up to 10 seconds of pre-roll, so that if you wanted to talk into your music or be able to make those last minute adjustments or grab your guitar pick when you start to play, it'll give you that cue mode of up to 10 seconds to play. You'll find also from right here, your user guide. Anybody who uh, wants to see the owner's manual, it's right here on the app. So it's very easy to get to. And this last green squiggly line here is, uh, allows you to ID, if you have multiple stage passes, which one you're actually connected to. So when you identify it, all the LEDs that are on the front of your Stage Pass 1K control panel will flash at you to let you know which one is actually being controlled from this iPad.